Northwest winds around 80 miles per hour decreasing to around 70 miles per hour in the afternoon. At elevations above 5,000 feet, northwest winds around 105 miles per hour decreasing to around 90 miles per hour in the afternoon. Wind chill values as low as 79 below. This is the North Weather Radio Station KZZ41 broadcasting on a frequency of 162.50 MHz from the Mount Washington Observatory on the summit of Mount Washington in New Hampshire. The current time is 6.57 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. The following is a summary of watches, warnings, and advisories in effect. For the KZZ-41 listening area, a wind chill warning remains in effect until noon Monday for the following areas, in Vermont, Caledonia, Essex, and Orange. A wind chill warning remains in effect until noon Monday for the following areas, in Maine, Interior Cumberland, Interior York, Southern Franklin and Southern Oxford, and the following areas, in New Hampshire, Belknap, Interior Rockingham, Merrimack, Northern Carroll, Southern Carroll, Stratford, and Sullivan. A wind chill warning remains in effect until noon Monday for the following areas in New Hampshire, Cheshire, Eastern Hillsborough, and Western and Central Hillsborough. A wind chill warning remains in effect until 4 p.m. Monday for the following areas in Maine, Northern Franklin, and Northern Oxford, and the following areas in New Hampshire, Northern Coas, and Southern Coas. A wind chill warning remains in effect until noon Monday for the following areas in New Hampshire, Northern Grafton, and Southern Grafton. A wind chill advisory remains in effect until noon Monday for the following areas in Maine, Androscoggin, Coastal Cumberland, Coastal York and Kennebec, and in New Hampshire, Coastal Rockingham. Here are the 6 p.m. reports from around New England in New Hampshire. At Concord, light snow was falling. The temperature was 4 degrees. The dew point minus 9, giving a relative humidity of 55%. The wind was northwest at 29 miles an hour, gusting to 36. And the pressure was 29.77 inches and rising. Portsmouth blowing snow. The temperature was 6. Jeffrey blowing snow 4. In Plymouth, light snow and minus one. In Lebanon, it was clear with a temperature of zero. At the summit of Mount Washington, ice fog was reported. The temperature was minus 31, and the wind was northwest at 75 miles an hour, gusting to 81 miles an hour. Berlin, cloudy and minus five. Whitefield was cloudy and minus four. In Vermont, Burlington was cloudy and minus four. Montpelier reports mixed precipitation at minus 9 degrees. In Maine, Portland was partly cloudy. The temperature was 8 degrees. Augusta partly cloudy 4. Freiburg clear 1. In southern New England, Boston was clear in 11. Worcester blowing snow was reported in 7. Hartford, Connecticut partly cloudy 7. Providence, Rhode Island partly cloudy 14. In Albany, New York, blowing snow was reported. The temperature was zero. And in New York City, it was clear in 13 degrees. Now for the official National Weather Service forecast for northern New Hampshire and western Maine. Tonight, mostly clear. Areas of blowing snow. Colder with lows 10 below to 16 below zero. Northwest winds 15 to 25 miles an hour with gusts up to 40 miles an hour. Wind chill values as low as 40 below. Washington's birthday, mostly sunny. Patchy blowing snow. High stood at 10 above. Northwest winds 15 to 20 miles an hour with gusts up to 35 miles an hour. Wind chill values as low as 42 below. Monday night, patchy blowing snow until midnight. Mostly clear. Cold with lows 11 below to 19 below zero. Northwest winds 10 to 15 miles an hour. Wind chill values as low as 28 below. Tuesday, partly sunny in the morning, then becoming cloudy. Highs around 15. Light and variable winds. Tuesday night, mostly cloudy. Not as cold with lows around 1 above. Light and variable winds. 
Wednesday and Wednesday night, cloudy with a 50% chance of snow. Highs around 20, lows around zero. Thursday, mostly cloudy in the morning, then becoming partly sunny. Highs around 10 above. Thursday night through Friday night, partly cloudy. Lows 5 below to 10 below zero. Highs 5 to 10 above. Saturday, partly sunny. Highs 15 to 20. Saturday night, mostly cloudy with a 30% chance of snow showers. Lows 0 to 5 above zero. Sunday, mostly cloudy with a 40% chance of snow. Highs in the mid-20s. And now here is the recreation forecast for summits above 4,000 feet in northern New Hampshire and western Maine. Tonight, mostly cloudy, blowing snow, lows around 22 below, northwest winds around 65 miles per hour increasing to around 80 miles per hour after midnight. At elevations above 5,000 feet, northwest winds around 85 miles per hour increasing to around 100 miles per hour after midnight. Wind chill values as low as 77 below. Washington's birthday, mostly sunny, blowing snow, highs around 3 below, northwest winds around 80 miles per hour decreasing to around 70 miles per hour in the afternoon. At elevations above 5,000 feet, northwest winds around 105 miles per hour decreasing to around 90 miles per hour in the afternoon. Wind chill values as low as 79 below. Here is winter weather advisory information for the following areas in Maine, Interior Cumberland, Interior York, Southern Franklin and Southern Oxford, and the following areas in New Hampshire, Belknap, Interior Rockingham, Merrimack, Northern Carroll, Southern Carroll, Stratford, and Sullivan. The National Weather Service in Gray has canceled the winter weather advisory Hazard types, very cold wind chill values. Timing, very cold wind chill values will persist through Monday morning. Impacts, wind chill values of 30 below zero will allow a frostbite to occur very quickly without proper protection. Winds, northwest 15 to 25 miles per hour with gusts up to 35 miles per hour. Temperatures, 10 below to 6 above zero. Wind chill, as low as 36 below due to temperatures 10 below to 6 above zero, and winds northwest 15 to 25 miles per hour with gusts up to 35 miles per hour. A wind chill warning means the combination of very cold air and strong winds will create dangerously low wind chill values. This will result in frostbite and lead to hypothermia or death if precautions are not taken.